here at home now and turning to weather. We do have our eyes on some severe weather, just not today, right, Matt? No, that's going to be coming as we get into Monday. A cold front's going to come through, give us the chance for some strong to possibly severe thunderstorms. For today, for Father's Day, of course, we're celebrating dads across the country. Hot and humid here in the Delaware Valley. Temperature averages for this time of year, we're looking at a high temperature today of 90. Well, we should be right around 84 degrees, so we're definitely above average today. We could even be feeling like we're in the mid 90s with that humidity. July and August, we should actually be around 87 or 85 degrees, so we're closer to what we should be expecting through the middle of July today than what we should be having uh, in June and August. Look, again, we're still looking at that mid 80 range, so above average across the board, it'd just be a little bit closer to climatology if we get a if we move into to July. Storm scan three shows an area of low pressure spiraling through the Great Lakes cold front draped down to the south and this is our system. That's what's going to be slowly tracking eastward. It's going to drag up some gulf moisture and then it's going to be feeding these showers and thunderstorms as they move across the uh, Ohio River Valley back through the Appalachians and then eventually here into the Philly region too. And they're spawning actually a severe thunderstorm watch down through Oklahoma. So this cold front still is pretty potent even here at this time. It usually gets a little bit on the uh, weaker side because there's not a ton of moisture in the nation's midsection, obviously, but it's still pulling in some of that moisture from the Gulf of Mexico as it tracks eastward. And again, it will be moving into the region as we get into Monday. Future weather for us today, not a whole lot out there. Maybe some breaks of sunshine, actually, which would be nice for our Sunday. Maybe a few spotty showers thrown into the mix, kind of like what we had the last couple of days. It's not going to be a washout of an afternoon, but again, spotty showers, an isolated rumble of thunder, not too much of a factor for us today. You can't rule out maybe a rumble of thunder, but again, generally it's just going to be a stray shower for us with maybe uh, some sunshine thrown into the mix. As we get into Monday, on the morning time frame here, we're looking clear through the 95 corridor on Monday morning. So that does mean that we're probably looking at a quiet commute to work tomorrow. That's some good news for us. Later into the afternoon by about 1, 2 o'clock, we're starting to see that front enter into the Poconos, the Lehigh Valley, getting in on some of that shower and thunderstorm activity. Again, 1 to 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Once we start to get 3, 4, 5 o'clock, that's where we're going to see it here in Philly. So our drive home from work tomorrow could be a little bit on the messy side. If you do take 95 to Schuylkill, do be prepared for showers and thunderstorms, most likely on your drive home. Good news about this front, very quick moving. Moves into the Philadelphia area by about 3, 4 o'clock. It's out of the Philly region probably by 6, maybe 7 o'clock at the absolute latest. A few residual showers and thunderstorms hanging on in South Jersey as we get into tomorrow night. But by the time we reach Tuesday, a few showers maybe in the morning starting to clear things out. For many of us, though, on Tuesday afternoon, severe threat an enhanced risk for that darker shaded area, including Philly, Trenton, Wilmington, all in there. That's where we could potentially see some strong gusty winds, a small chance for maybe hail to develop as well. Our highest risks tomorrow, though, heavy downpours, some strong winds and, of course, lightning. That hail risk is low, but it is still out there and tornadoes really not a factor for us at all. That's good news. Flash flood watch in effect starting tomorrow at noon, going until midnight on Tuesday. Low lying areas, areas with poor drainage could see some flooding, so be careful, especially never drive through flooded roadways. 90 degrees for the high temperature today. We're going to stay warm before the front comes through 89 on Monday with the thunderstorms around 86, 84 and 86 again Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and then another chance for a shower, Jan, on Thursday as well.